Well, we're back again, and time flies when you're having fun. I can't believe that uh, we got through that, or that we're spending this long. I guess this is important stuff. So we're back to the ethical practice, more info. Uh, as a new title sales rep, you have to develop a niche and a value proposition to be successful. We've already talked about that. So let me give you some ideas that may be of assistance that you can gain clients right away, okay? So uh, call, call cross sales or non-direct customers. They're known, they're called cross sales. So in other words, you might get a list of my clients as an agent and I might get a list of your clients. Those are non-direct customers. Uh, you need to maybe give a, be a speaker or teach a class that you can show a real estate company how you can add value to them. Give a one minute, or a one minute, give a one hour lunch and learn to a company and say, okay, let me show you what I can do to help your business. Now, don't get in there and start talking about commodities because if that does, then you're probably not going to get asked back. Make sure that class or that uh, speaking engagement that you have deals with how you're going to help them because that's what they're there for. They want to know how to increase their business. They don't really care about your business, so to speak, okay? You might sponsor an event and then invite realtor companies to help you with that event so you can help drive traffic to that real estate company. Once again, you are not going to really sell to a consumer. Now you can, so if you're having a, a sponsoring an event like a food drive where people come and drop off cans of food, yes, you may have a direct connection to that consumer and you may always tell them, hey, don't forget me when you order title. Most of them are going to go, I, I, what's title? When do I, I don't even know when to do. So what you really need is that front end person and most real estate agents typically act as a front end person to all of that $14 trillion, right? at least to the amount that's used by real estate. And what I mean by front end, it's typically when people want to buy a property, the very first person they call is a real estate broker to go see houses. They don't call a home inspector. They don't call the title company. Now, occasionally, they may start calling a lender. All right? Now, but that's fine for you guys, not for me as an agent, but for you guys, maybe you bring a lender and a real estate company in to help you on this, sponsor this food drive. Food drive sponsored by Pelican Title, you know, uh, co-sponsors, um, CHRM Mortgage, and the Modulin Group. So now you have front-end people that you're helping so that when a client comes to them and goes, hey, Mr. Mortgage Guy, I want to, uh, am I qualified for a loan? I want him to go, yes, let's use Raymond. And then one of us are going to go, hey, let's remember Pelican title. Post engaging. Post means like uh, uh, social media post. Engage in uh, your clients on Facebook. Engage with them. Don't just post stuff and let them um, respond, which is cool if you can get something body, a bunch of people to respond. But if you can engage... That actually creates the relationship, all right? Ask to be ghost guest posters on real estate company uh, Facebook pages, all right? I'll do that. I do that with the Modular Group. You want to post something on my page? That's fine. Once again, now you're getting access to my people, and you're going to spur them to go, oh, that's right, I want to buy a house. Let me call Raymond because I saw it on his post. And then Raymond's going to say, let me call the Pelican title rep and order my title. So these are all different ways that you can go. Um, you can actually purchase info from data providers. Uh, I put that on here. I wrestle with it. There are people that buy lists. I don't know if that's necessary. Um, you can buy realtor lists of other realtors and send them stuff. All right. Um, learn what your company possesses. Your company may already have some ideas on how to engage real estate professionals or lenders 
and you need to use their tools that they've already created. So make sure that whatever company you go work for, you actually get the highest bang for your buck so that you can get some of what they've already created. I mean, don't reinvent the wheel if they've already got a method on how to uh, give a one hour uh, seminar on adding value to a real estate agent. Don't try and recreate a new one if they've already got one, all right? You can actually just set personal appointments with agents, mortgage brokers, and talk to them individually if you want. And while you're there, simply ask for the sale. You can do that. It's not wrong. And that's probably one of the biggest things that when I teach a sales class, I got a sales 101 that I teach. One of the things I always talk about is when a, a waitress comes to your table, what's the first thing she says? Would you like, are you ready to order? Would you like to order? They actually ask for the sale. Now, in that business, they don't even really know what they're doing because the, the assumption is you're there to eat since you're in a restaurant, but they ask for the sale. You guys need to do that as well. When you go into a real estate office and you buy a, an agent a cup of coffee, literally ask for it. Hey, I'd be happy if you would refer me some clients or refer me some business so that I can, and of course, if you rub my back, I'll rub your back, okay? So there's nothing wrong with literally asking for it. Um, if your office already has an, uh, uh, an account list, your manager may allow you to use that account list so that you can follow up with people that you have closed before. Remember, you, you close their buyer and seller. Who knows what's going to spur them to have another life change. So your company may already have a list of thousands of names of people they've already dealt with in the last 10 years that you could potentially call them again and say, hey, I said, just saying that you bought that house in you know 2004 here we are 10 years later 12 years later 14 years later you're looking to buy again because if you do i've got a really great agent that you need to talk to so you can ask for that and potentially even ask for a client list of the realtor maybe the realtor is looking for some help calling all his list so he's going to have you call some and he'll call some these are just brainstorm ideas that I sat down and came up with. Um, you can meet with the broker, the real estate broker, and ask to sponsor something at their next meeting. All right. So now that that's back where we get to the coffee and donuts thing. All right. But I'm still telling you while you're there, if you go to their next meeting and you get a five or six or 10 minute uh, spiel, you got to make sure that you're not telling them something they've already heard or they don't care about. You know, don't tell me, oh, I got good customer service and yada yada. I answer my phone 24 7 because that's a lie. You know, I had a guy that on his voicemail who said, uh, I'll call you back within five minutes. Now, that's a lie, blatant lie. Because things happen. I go to movies with my wife. I take my kids to ball games. You know, I'm asleep, Lord forbid. Um, potentially, I'm even watching a Colts game. Not that Colts play much football anymore. But I guess what I'm saying is uh, when you get in there, you know, try and even if it's three or four minutes, make sure whatever you tell them is something that they can use as a value add. Hey, just a quick speech. I want to tell you about a new uh, software system that we've got that allows you to post to uh, schedule posts to Facebook so you can post in the middle of the night. And we've got this software that we use. If you're interested in learning more, get with me personally and we can talk. Now you've got a chance to sit down with a person one-on-one -on -one and talk to them about their business. All right. And obviously technology Technology is the wave of the future, and trust me, I'm a ve very technologically advanced person. I've got stuff I'm working on that isn't around yet. It's not common, but it's coming down the pipe. Um, you guys have all heard the new cryptocurrency. 
Uh, there's a thing called blockchain uh, that's going to be coming. So find out as much as you can and learn as much as you can about marketing or SEO and podcasting, uh, blogging. Be guest bloggers on someone else's blog. Be a, a guest on somebody's podcast. All of these things will help you drive business to your partners in crime. That would be the realtor and the lender are the two most prevalent. Okay? So that's what you want to do. Just sit and answer that golden question. What's the magic question? I need, you want an agent to go, oh, I listed a property. I got to call my favorite title company X. How do I remember your X? All right. All right. That's the end of this chapter. We've gone through it. Uh, we've got one more chapter left I want to talk about at the end. So don't go anywhere. For those of you at home, you got to stay for the final one. For you guys, we got just a few minutes left here and I'll try and get through it. So hold on and let's get to the, the last chapter here on this. Chapter here on this.